Heart Confessions with Intuitive Heart Healer, the Love Guru, Blair Allison. Blair can be found on the web at loveguru.net and datingtipsfordudes.com. And now your host, Blair Allison. Hey, everybody. I thought I'd throw in the little crowd applause. That was fun. It's Blair, the Love Guru. How are you? Welcome to Love Life Heart Confessions. I love spending this time with you guys every week. I look forward to it every week. And I'm happy to be here with you. Um, Today we are doing a special call-in show. So for any of you out there having love life problems, um, questions, situations, or maybe nothing's happening in your love life and you'd like to call in today, I am taking your phone calls. The whole show is dedicated to you. Um, The call-in number here is 347-324-3904, and um, you're welcome to call in and ask me your questions, and we'll take a look at what's going on in your love life or what's not going on in your love life. Hey, we're back. Welcome. It's Blair, the love guru from loveguru.net. That's how you can find me on the Internet. And you're listening to Love Life Heart Confessions. So today I am taking your phone calls about your love life, whether there's something going on, maybe lots of things going on, or nothing going on at all. I'm an intuitive heart healer, which means that I heal people's hearts. It's a gift that I have. And um, so I can just tell within a couple of minutes of talking to you what's blocking you from love and I'll I'll take you through steps to heal your heart. Or if you're not sure how to attract love into your life, then that's what I would teach you. I'll teach you how to manifest it, how to attract love to you, how to attract lots and lots of men to you. Or So let's talk about this topic for today. Um, feeling out of control in a relationship. You know, like maybe you're pulled to this person. You know, like you have this, soul connection or this heart connection and then maybe it's hard to let go of somebody. Um, maybe you let go and then you guys keep on coming back to one another and like you know it's not healthy but yet you keep on being pulled to this person so you're thinking maybe because there's the chemistry or the soul pull that this person is right for you, that maybe they're the one. Now, I think that that's pretty common to think that like, okay, because I'm constantly drawn to this person, because the sex is so amazing with this person and I've never had sex that's been so amazing with anybody else, or the spiritual connection or the emotional connection is just like so intense, I've never had that with anyone else, so it must mean something. I feel like that's your ego getting involved. That's your ego saying, Because I have this connection with somebody, you know, we try to control it. We try to hold on to it. We try to latch on to it. We try to make it last forever. But the relationship may not be healthy at all. Now, it's one thing to be, you know, this is why I suggest also, like, don't keep in touch with exes um, because whatever, you hook up with them, you feel that chemistry excitement again, and then what happens? Well, you're pulled back into their energy field, and then you're all confused by things. So like we had with the first caller, you want to keep your love life simple. And if you have all these different connections in your life, oh, I had great sex with this person, or I have great chemistry with this this other person, or, oh, you know, that per- that other person's voice is so sexy and like, he just knows or she just knows how to comfort me when I'm feeling sad or, or they keep on coming back for me. You know, I've spoken to some people over, my, over the years. I've interviewed, like, so many people about their relationships. And, uh, you know, this is a topic. I mean, this has been my, life, my life's path and my purpose. You know, since I was young, I was always very interested in, in love. So from a very young age, I was always interviewing people and saying, well, what makes him the one? You know, like, hey, Grandma, (laughs) you know, like, why did you like Grandpa? And I actually, I did ask that of one of my grandparents, and the answer she gave me was that he was nice and respectable, and um, 
I was like, oh, my goodness, there was one other tr- quality she told me. I don't know, nice, respectable. Oh, I forgot what, oh, I'm sorry, Grandma. She She's passed by now. But um, I for, it was like three things. But that's what made her, him, her one. Now, other people, um, one lady had said to me that, he, the man that she ended up with just was the one, and she's now divorced this lady, which, I mean, it could mean something, could not. She's never had someone that's been that sure of her, that's loved her that much, that's been that sure of her. She wasn't, like, all crazy over him, but he was 100% sure of her, and he pursued her, and they broke up times, but he always came back for her very strong, and, yes, that could be flattering. You know, we, we think that that's romantic. You know, like we get wrapped up in that fairy tale. But if the relationship is not good, even though you might feel a soul pull to somebody, that could just mean that you have a past life connection to them. A lot of times that means that they're, they're a soulmate. You know, we use that word. There's different words that we use in our society, and I think that they get kind of confusing. Um, you know, there's the, the word soulmate and the one, which I, I think of those now, I think of those as the same thing. What that means to me, and this is just over the last, um, I don't know, two years maybe, a year and a half, when I meet someone that I am pulled to on a soul level, and something about them is very significant, you know, like the connection that we have, it's just very strong. Um, does it mean that I'm, like, yes, I think at first you automatically assume that that person's going to be your life partner because you're so drawn to them, you recognize them, you know them on a deeper level. That's incredible. You know, we get wrapped up in that. But um, to me what that means is like, hey, we're, you know, we're, we're spirit beings. We're spirit, you know, and we're spirits in this human body. So, to me, when I meet someone that I have this soul pull towards, I'm thinking, that's awesome because our soul's reconnected in this lifetime. And now what are we here to teach one another about? And I look at it from a lesson standpoint. What is the lesson? You know, we made a soul contract before we came here that we were going to bump into one another in this lifetime and teach each other certain lessons that we both agreed to beforehand, whether our relationship in this lifetime is positive or not, we agree to certain things. So therefore we have the soul pull, there's a, a recognition of souls, and okay, now let's, let's learn stuff from one another. Now, if that turns into being a lifelong connection and a healthy partnership, then yeah, you go for that. But plenty of times um, we get hooked into that feeling and even though that relationship is just like so unhealthy, um, we stay there because we've never felt like that um, before about anybody. So I want you just to kind of think about that as far as like who are you pulled to in your life? Who are you pulled to? And, and we'll just talk about romantic relationships. Who are you pulled to romantically? And... Is there a lesson to learn from this person? You know, and what's the lesson? Be like a detective. What is the lesson? What is the person here to teach me? And then when you're fully grounded in reality, you decide if that relationship is healthy, that it's something that you want to be in. Because this person might be coming from a past life into this, um, you know, it's a past life relationship, and now you're having a current life relationship with the person, And that person might have just agreed to come into your life to, say, abuse you on some certain level. And the lesson for you to learn what they agreed to teach you on a loving, when we're in spirit, all the lessons are out of love, they might have just come here to teach you about loving yourself, about choosing to love yourself more than you love a man or a woman or a relationship, to choose yourself first, to value yourself to take better care of yourself. You know, I personally think it all comes back to loving yourself more. So how is this person teaching you to love yourself more, to take care of yourself more, to choose yourself first 
over the relationship. A lot of times we get into relationships and we put that relationship first. We sacrifice ourselves for the relationship. Is that healthy? No. Do most people do that? Yes. Why? Well, because we see our family members doing that. We see, other pe- we see our friends do that. We see other people of society doing that. That's not the example of a healthy relationship. The way that we have healthy relationships is, one, we love and cherish and honor ourselves first. Now, I was teaching a teleclass. It was called honor, um, honor, Cherish, and Love, Love, Love Yourself. We do that first. We love ourselves first. We have a connection to spirit or to the universe. That's what keeps us grounded. We want to be grounded when we get into our relationships. When you're feeling pulled to a man or to a woman, you're kind of out of control. When you can't think straight, when you're confused, when you can't focus, you're not grounded. You're not in the present moment. You're not in reality. So you're being pulled This way to the relationship, you're being pulled away from yourself. You're being pulled away from your connection to spirit. That's not healthy. You need to be grounded in your connection to um, yourself. That means to put yourself first, always. That's what a healthy relationship is. What do I want? What do I need? Is that person then... When a person comes into your life, are they fulfilling my needs? Are they giving me what I need? Are they giving me what I want in a relationship? Rather than, so we're being filled up with love from ourselves. We're being filled up with love from the universe, our connection to spirit. Now, what does that mean? Well, yeah, the standard answer is meditation. Hey, if you're not into that, you're not into that, you know? Connect, see how you can connect to spirit, not doing meditation if you don't like it. Maybe it means that you have a meditative practice of playing the guitar. You know, we were talking to Vince earlier, and that message was like, hey, time to pick up the guitar again. Time to create music. Where does music come from? It comes from the spiritual realm. Spirit's talking to you through your music. That's how it comes through. So it's time for him to have that connection to spirit. He's busy asking other people for the answers. He's at, you know, he's not taking control of his life. Is that like you too? How can you connect to spirit? Maybe it's through artwork. Doesn't need to be pretty. Who cares? You're doing it because it feels good. It connects you to that, that, that energy of the universe. That's how you're staying grounded. That's how you're feeding yourself with love. That's how you're filling yourself up with love. It's that connection. And when you're fully connected to yourself and to, the, and to spirit or the universe or God, again, all these words are used interchangeably. When you're strong in those connections, that's when you could bring a partner in. And if that partner is pulling you away from your center, it's not healthy. You need to connect back to yourself and to spirit. That's your solid ground. That's what's going to be with you forever. I'm sorry, but relationships are not going to be in your life forever. Yes, you're going to find your life partner. Yes. You may be with someone for, like our first caller, nine years. It's a long time. You may be with someone for 30 years. Someone just came to me last week that was out of a marriage of 20-something years. You know how difficult that is? Maybe you do. Maybe you are out of a marriage of 20 years. What do you do? What is he doing? He's running back out there to look for somebody else to fill him up to give him love, to ground him. Is that the healthy relationship that I am encouraging you guys to go for? No. Is that, healthy, is that a healthy relationship? 
No. But again, that's how the majority of our society runs. That's how we work. It sucks being single. Let me go run out and find somebody. Let me find somebody to give me love. Really? Is that what you're doing? So then that you're going to get into a relationship that your love only com- that love only comes to you through that person. And then you feel totally out of control. When that love is not there, when that person's not giving you the attention that you want, um, if something happens, say that person cheats on you, say that person dies, God forbid, that relationship is no longer there, then what happens to you? Well, you're having a nightmare then. You're totally ungrounded. You're panicking. You're freaking out because your source of love is no longer there because you were getting it from that person. No person is ever going to be able to give you the amount of love that you can get from universe and from yourself. Those are your two sources of love. And then the relationship is like the icing on the cake. You could do with it or you could do without it. Yeah, it'd be nice to have it. Feels wonderful to be loved by someone, to be touched by someone. That feels wonderful. But that is not your source of love. So, you know, I never know what's going to come up when I open, open my mouth. I never know what I'm going to be sharing with you guys. But today, that was the message. That was what was needed to be um, heard today. And if we're talking back to the topic here, being pulled in a relationship, when you can't focus when you're in a relationship, when you're pulled towards someone so strongly, hear my voice in your head, (laughs) have it be red flags, hey, I am not grounded. I need to come back to my center. I need to focus on my connection to spirit, I need to focus on my connection to myself, let me fill myself up with love first, then let me go to this relationship and decide if it's a healthy one or if it's not a healthy one. Please only allow yourself to get into healthy relationships. Have that be your intention. Forget about the checkoff list you know, the list of what we want in a partner. Hey, I teach that. It's important. That's an important way to manifest. That is important. What's more important is that you get into a healthy relationship. I see too many of you guys in in unhealthy relationships. I used to be in unhealthy relationships. That's how I know. That's how I could teach you. That's how I could help you. Please make that your first intention to get into a healthy relationship. So forget about the fact if the person makes money. Forget about the fact that the person is hot looking. Forget about the fact that the person you might have chemistry with. Forget about all that stuff. Is it a healthy relationship? That should be your number one. That's your number one. Is it a healthy relationship? And I am here to support you through all of this. My website is loveguru.net. If you're not already on the newsletter, the email list, sign up. It's a great way for us to keep in touch. I put out a lot of videos. I write blog posts. I send out my email a lot. <laughs> I'm a big communicator, and I'm, I'm, and I'm very happy to share information with you guys because it's what I love to do. It's what I'm meant to do here. So go to, loveguru. I'll go to loveguru.net. You could sign up for the newsletter. You get a free exercise, an audio. And if you're a guy, go to datingtipsfordudes.com, and you'll get an audio there too. And that's how I can start helping you more personally. And if you'd like a personal session with me, a private session over the phone, it's an hour, you and I, focusing on guidance that comes through, exercises, whatever's happening in your love life, whether it's something or nothing at all, then we'll go through that. And that information, the rates, the description, and how you could sign up for it is at loveguru.net and click on Heart Healer. I'll speak with you guys next week. 
All right. I wish you lots and lots of love. I wish you the best in love. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Love Life Heart Confessions with intuitive heart healer, the love guru, Blair Allison. Blair can be found on the web at loveguru.net and datingtipsfordudes.com. You can also connect with Blair on Facebook and Twitter. See you there.